Jamie Lynn Spears. I'm here at Rolling Stone Country and I am ready for your questions. So if you've got anything you want to ask me, please uh, send them to the comment section below and I'll answer them. All right, let's talk about the new single Sleepover. Tell us the story behind that. Um, the new single Sleepover is a, um, it was the first song that kind of set the tone for the next stage in my career, the next tone of my music. It, we went to an all girls writing retreat. It was me and a bunch of other amazing writers down in Destin, Florida, our condo. And then we, um, we started writing and this was actually the first song that was written out of uh, probably, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago. And it's crazy that I've written so many more songs since then, but Sleepover still stands out as the best one. And it's fun, it's flirty, it's confident, but it's still, um, it's still in control, but it's another side of me. So I'm really excited. I think the fans are gonna love it. All right, we have someone named Sarah saying she is coming to your pajama party. She's so excited. Let's talk about the pajama party that you're having tomorrow. Well, thank you, Sarah. Can't wait to see you there. You gotta come tell me hey. Um, it's gonna be awesome because number one, my single is sleepover. So what better thing to do than have a sleepover pajama party during CMA week? So I want you to wear your PJs. Please wear your PJs. We're gonna have some special guests, Jesse James Decker, um, Liz Rose, Alyssa, and um, we're all gonna get up on stage, kind of sing, keep it intimate, and just make it a fun, fun time for everybody. So wear your PJs and come hang out. It's at the listening room, 3 p.m. tomorrow, Thursday. All right, Lily wants to know, who's your favorite country star? Oh, there's so many. Is, does it matter, new or old? No, I think she says anybody. Okay, uh, I love Dolly Parton. Um, I mean, I think right now, I'm really loving, um, I really love Cam. So it's, they're kind of, you know, two blonde girls that uh, they are fun, but uh, I, I just like them right now, I think. All right, Noelle wants to know where she can see you this week in Nashville. Well, tomorrow you can see me, well, tonight I'll be at the CMT Awards, but tomorrow you can come to my fan event, which is at the listening room at 3 p.m. We're gonna have a pajama party, so wear your PJs, because if you win the pajama uh, contest that we're having, you get some tickets to the Opry where I'll be singing as well at the Ryman. Then on Friday, I'm doing some booth signings. On Saturday, I am doing a performance at the Chevrolet Park stage. And I'm also gonna be performing at the Ryman that night, so or that afternoon. So you can see me all of those places, but I hope to see you at the fan party tomorrow. All right, Andrea wants to know if you and your sister ever run songs by each other. Of course. Um, She'll play me some of her new music, I'll play her some of mine, and we kind of bounce off of each other, and it's fun because it's different genres, but still, uh, it's, it's, neat to, it's neat to kind of step out of your comfort zone, and you know, we're able to give each other honest opinions as well. <laughs> okay, Eric has a funny question. Will Chase and Zoe ever get back together? <laughs> I just don't think they will. I just don't think it will. It was a fun time, but it was also painful. <laughs> Do you miss Zoe 101? Um, you know what, I, um, I think it was such an awesome time to, it was such an amazing experience. I look back on it really fondly, but I'm really happy where I am now, so it's hard to miss stuff when you're in a really good place at the moment, you know? Wendy wants to know, do you consider yourself more of a performer or more of a songwriter? Um, well, for many years, I kind of just stayed on the songwriting side of things, but that was because I was figuring out who I was as an artist. But performing is what gives you life, what makes you want to write. It kind of gives you the motivation for it all. So I'd have to say that um, I'd have to say that performing is who I am. But it takes digging in and songwriting to figure out who you are as a performer. All right, Jessica and probably <laughs> thirty other people are commenting on how excited they are about the documentary. Tell us why letting cameras into your life now. I think um, for many years I was really scared to, um, you know, let cameras in because it could. You know it could take a bad turn especially with um you know the place that i come from so for me i figured that if i want people to know who i am there was you know there was quite a few years there where people didn't really see what i was doing or understand where i was and for me to tell the story of how 
you know, they knew me as a young little girl, but now they're meeting me as an adult. You've got to bridge that gap. And I think this documentary is really going to do that because I let cameras in. I was honest. I tell the story from point A all the way to point here. And I think that it's important because that way people get to meet me as an adult for the first time. And hopefully that will help them understand my story and help them understand who I am as an artist. Lindsay wants to know if you think Maddie will go into show business. I am hoping that Maddie will be a veterinarian or something of that nature because show business is wonderful and I love it. But I think that um, I think that maybe that uh, we could just you know have something a little different for her. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Gabrielle says she would love to hear you write a song about your relationship with Maddie. Um, I would. I've written songs that definitely touch on different experiences of being a mother and the love that I have for my daughter, but it's very hard to go into a room and um, force such a special song. It really is something that just has to happen naturally for me. So I, I kind of, I touch it in a bunch of my different songs, but to really make that my main focus, it's so special that I, I can't, you know, I can't just force it. It's gotta just happen. Pietro wants to know if you have any pets at home. Yes, I do. I have a chocolate lab and his name is Nice and he is the best dog in the whole entire world. Gabrielle wants to know what you think about songwriting retreats and if they're good at opening the doors for unknown songwriters. I think songwriting retreats are amazing. I did one, I guess it was like a year and a half ago with a group of amazing female writers and it really opened up another side of myself. Um, just being with um, you know, a bunch of different writers, a bunch of different women, and also no pressure of like, we've got two hours to write a song, kind of having a weekend to kind of get to know each other and write, it's really important. And also bringing different writers together, you know, maybe some more well-known writers with some not as well-known, but just as talented and bringing those people together on a songwriting retreat is, I think that's one of the most special things about it. Jillian is hoping that you're gonna write and perform a song with your sister. Do you see that ever happening? I mean, maybe one day, but once again, it's one of those things you can't force. Jessica wants to know how you get out of writer's block if that ever happens to you. Um, writer's block is, uh, it's really hard and I've experienced it. I think about a year ago, I really, really was just couldn't, I'd get in a writing room and I just felt like I had nothing to bring to the table. And sometimes that is um, us as humans putting our guard up and, and you've got to really just say, you know what? I'm gonna just be good, be bad, embarrass myself, it doesn't matter, you just gotta do it because writer's block sometimes is like almost us being self-conscious. Jessica wants to know who's your biggest inspiration? Um, I'd have to say my biggest inspiration is my daughter. <laughs> Aaron wants to know any songwriters you'd love to work with? Um, I feel like um, that's a hard one because I feel like I've written with some really great songwriters. So Liz Rose was the ultimate person I really wanted to write with. And now I consider her extremely, extremely close person to me. So I feel like um, I could write with her every day and feel like I've reached uh, an amazing goal. Juliana and Danielle want to know if you would ever go back to acting again. Um, for me, you know, that was something I did as a young girl and I loved it. But as an adult, um, that was how I expressed myself my creative outlet as a child, but as an adult, um, my, my heart really just goes to music. So I can't see myself doing acting um, anytime soon or any in the planned future, but for me, it's all about the music right now, but I never say never. I mean, it's one of those things though, my heart's in music. Justin wants to know if there's any new artists you're really into right now that you can't stop listening to. Um, well, like I said, I really like him. Uh, and, um, But Cam, I'm really into Cam right now. I like her a lot. Jessica wants to know, what's the best part of your job? The best part of my job is, is the people and uh, the connections. I would have to say that those, um, you know, really seeing, really getting that interaction with your fans and with people has been uh, one of the best parts. Kenny wants to know, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? It would be to eat whatever I want and never get fat. Can I have that one too? Yes. <laughs> um, Tashawn wants to know what is your writing process? Are we lyrics first, melody first? 
My writing process is never the same. Sometimes I walk in a room and I hear a melody and I'm like, yes, I want to write to that. And then the lyrics are inspired by that. Sometimes I come in and I say, I really want to write about this idea. Sometimes I walk in and I'm like, I don't have anything. And someone else in the room is like, hey, uh, I have this idea and you write that. For me, it's never the same. It's kind of about where the inspiration happens. And sometimes inspiration is when you're driving in your car. Sometimes it's something someone else said. So it's always different. You can't predict it. Ashley wants to know if you would ever consider a clothing line because you always look comfortable and cute. Uncomfortable, that was her key <laughs> word. Uh, I would, you know, if I could um, find the right mix and find the right time. But I think right now as an artist, I'm still kind of identifying my style. Um, so I would need to really figure that out and secure that before I could have a brand around it. I think we're going to end on a great question from Brittany. Why country and not pop? Um, I love this question. I get it often, but you know, I grew up in Louisiana. I worked in LA, but we, me and my sister were both born and raised in Louisiana. So I think the biggest question is why did she choose pop? You know, that was a bigger stretch and that was an even bigger goal to achieve to come out of a small town in Louisiana and then go be a global pop star. So for me, country music seems like, you know, the road that, uh, the road that is, you know, the one that makes more sense, truthfully. Great, we're all done. Thank you guys for joining. Bye.